Hey everybody, Draco the Juggler here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own juggling balls. We're going to be using birdseed and balloons to make juggling balls. This is especially useful if you have a larger class and you want to make juggling balls for all your students. Maybe you have a summer camp, maybe you teach PE classes and you want to have your students to learn how to juggle. This is a great way to learn and how to provide all the gear at a relatively low cost. There's a lot of different styles of juggling balls. As you see here, I have five different styles of juggling balls, including the one that I made myself. Some of these juggling balls range to be maybe $10 to $20, and some of them range to be maybe within $5 to $10. Um, but these ones actually cost, when you add them all up together and you make enough, under a dollar each for every juggling ball. This method to make juggling balls is pretty common within the juggling community, and you can also find it very easily online if you just look up making juggling balls on Google. I found out initially how to make these balls and how do you do this method through a friend named Cosmo Ham. He taught me how to do it many years ago and it's been very helpful when I do juggling gigs and I go to summer camps or I do teaching. I have made so many juggling balls at a relatively low price and it saved me so much money and I definitely recommend doing this technique if you want to make a lot for your class. Before we begin, let's see what tools we're going to need. You will need at least one pair of scissors. You will also need one half cup measuring cup. For the materials that you're going to need, you need to get a sandwich baggie without the zipper on it. A sandwich bag like this is a great bag that will help you out to start. You're also going to need to get 12-inch um, balloons. You're going to cut off the ends of the balloons, which I'll show you momentarily. Finally, what you're going to need is you're going to need birdseed. Birdseed works really well. You can also use rice, you can also use beans, you can also use lentils. But in my experience, I found that birdseed works really well. All right, so let's get into the first step of making these balloon juggling balls. You're gonna take your scissors, and what you're gonna do is go ahead and open up the bag and take out one balloon. I would recommend for the instructors to do this part, and even to do this part for every single balloon before you give it to the students. It's a little more risky for the students to be cutting the balloons with the sharp scissors. You don't want them to hurt themselves. And also, they may cut the balloons wrong, and the balloons may tear when it gets to actually making the balls. So I'd recommend the instructors or an adult to do this step. What you're going to do is you're going to take the balloons and pinch them between your fingers like that and grab it with your other fingers like that. This makes it easier for you to hold and cut the balloon like you're going to do now. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the top part of the balloon off like so. It starts Right when it starts to curve, you maybe want to go like a few centimeters down and you're going to just cut off the top part of the balloon. And you should have something that looks like this. You're going to need at least three of these cut balloons per one ball. That'll make a pretty decent juggling ball when you put three balloons on it as opposed to two. You can buy a bag of balloons like this at the store, at a party store, pretty easily. This one cost me roughly $10 and it comes with 72 balloons in it. Um, if each ball needs three balloons, that means there's 24 balls that you can make out of the bag. And if you have at least eight students, that means each student can have a set of three balls. One thing you want to keep in mind is a lot of balloons are made of latex and some people have latex allergies. You should double check with your students to make sure that they don't have any latex allergies. You can buy balloons that are made of different quality materials. Um, these ones are made of latex. So just double check with your class before you actually buy the balloons to make sure that you have no latex allergies in your class. Alright, so now that we have a few of the balloons cut, we can actually move on to the next step. Since we have all the balloons cut, the students can actually be involved in the next step because we're going to actually assemble all the balls and the bird seed and the bags together. If you have a classroom, now is a good time to hand out at least three bags per student and at least nine balloons per student as well. The students can pick their colors for what balls they want and they can even mix and match the colors to make custom colored balls. So now that every student has at least three bags and nine balloons, go ahead and have them stand in line and they could come up to you and for each student, what you're going to do is you're going to take the half cup measuring cup and at least pour one of those measurements into each of the bags. All right, now that everybody has three baggies, let's move on to the next step. What you're going to do is you're going to take each baggie like so. Make sure that you try to squeeze out as much air as you can out of the bag without ripping the bag. From there, you're going to twist the bag like so. You don't actually need to tie the bag closed. What I like to do is I like to take the twist put it right on top in the center, and then squeeze the sides closed like that. You should end up with something that looks like this, kind of like a little Pac-Man shape where the center um, tie is right in the middle. Do that for all three bags, 
and then we'll move on to the next step of actually making the juggling balls. All right, so the next and final step to making the juggling balls is actually probably the hardest step. The hardest step is to get the first balloon on the bag. And the easiest way I found to do this is to take all of your fingers except for your thumb for each hand and put it like so, turning the balloon inside out like that, and then you're going to take the baggie and put it on top and use your thumbs to make the balloon stretch around. It usually helps to have another student put the bag on top at this point, but if you want, you can do it by yourself. So take the balloon like this, go ahead and walk around to one of the baggies, and then try to just stretch the baggie into the balloon. You'll end up for your first balloon with something like this. One thing too, if you have air in your bag at this point, you can take out some of the air by making a really small pinch into the bag and pulling the bag to make a really small hole. You don't want to make too big of a hole because you don't want to have the birdseed falling out. So make a very small hole and the air should come out. Now with that, you're going to do the same technique and get the second balloon and put your fingers inside like I showed you and then stretch that on top of the other ball. So take up the balloon like that, stretch it open. And for the second balloon, what you want to do is you want to stretch the second balloon starting out with the part of the bird seat that you can see facing towards the balloon like that. So now you want to have it polar opposite, stretch it over, and now you should have one juggling ball that looks like this, where one hole's on one side and the other hole's on the other side, so the ball is now completely covered with no bird seeds showing. To finish making your juggling ball, take the third balloon and go ahead and stretch it over as well. This will just add extra durability to your ball and your balloon. If you want, you could even make your juggling balls a little more fancy by using different colored balloons. And you'll end up in, with a ball that has kind of like a hole at one end with different colors, like that. All right, with that, you should have all three juggling balls made and you're ready to learn how to juggle. Keep in mind that these juggling balls are a little delicate. They will not withstand you throwing them like a baseball. If you do throw them like a baseball, they may break on you. So be careful about that. If the balloons do come off, just re-tighten them. And if the balloons do break, just add a new balloon on and keep your juggling balls nice and neat. If you want to make your juggling balls more durable, you can actually take some tape, like so. This is at least a half inch electrical tape or decorative tape. And you can try to add some tape on the edges of your balloon as well. This will make the balloon more durable. I like to start out by putting the tape on the whole part like so, and then going around the whole circumference and diameter of the ball. And then once you get back to the beginning of the tape, go a little bit more, tear off the tape, and then make a plus sign and go the opposite way as well. This will just add a little bit more durability for the balloons and the balls, so the balloons don't accidentally come off. And you have a slightly better juggling ball that's a little bit more durable once you add the tape onto it. All right, everybody, again, my name is Drake of The Juggler. Thank you so much for watching my video and learning how to make juggling balls. I hope it helped you to make some really awesome juggling balls for you to learn how to practice at a relatively low cost. Thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.